with Jesus joy and abundant grace welcome. Let's welcome Apostle Abraham. Come on, give it to the Lord. Come on, give it to the Lord. Come on, go ahead, give it to the Lord. Amen. How many of you are excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning? The psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Because of the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. At his right arm, there are pleasures forevermore. That's why you can come to church the way you have, but sure you can't live the way you came. Because in his presence, there is addition. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I am super excited to be here again after two years. Yes. Yes. Um, I want to say, I want to use this opportunity to thank the church for your love during the lockdown I was locked here. Uh, it wasn't, it, it wasn't like it was easy for me, I have to be honest. The four months was like four years. There are the students when the embassy will ask you, what are your ties? When I checked around, none of my ties was around, all my ties was Africa. So I needed to run back to my ties. Amen. And uh, I must say thank you to Dr. Freeman and his dear wife. They, they saw that it wasn't easy, but they were doing everything they can to make me comfortable, make me happy, make me feel at home. I, I must say God bless you for that. And it gave me opportunity to also pray. I had time to pray here on this altar. While I was here, they took my wife to court that she must pack out of her property. And they, she said, my husband is not in the country. He's locked somewhere. Only God knows when he's going to be back. The man said, I'm not interested. Anyhow you want to pack, pack. And she called me, and I, I called my lawyer. I said, please go represent me in the court. Basically, I wasn't hearing him any morning. I'm not hearing him. I wasn't like anything. Because when people intervened to ask him, what has pastor done? He said, nothing. Is he inducted? He said, no. Is it destructive? He said, no, rather he repairs the compound. He said, but I'm just sick and tired of him. Uh, my, my. Amen. 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 <laughs> but the Lord told me before I left here, so I will build you a house when you get back to Africa. So I'll build you a house. I'm giving this testimony because upon this same altar, I made some prayers that God is here. Yes. And when I got home, I said, Father, you said you build me a house. I don't have the money. He said, start with what I've put in your hands. And I started on the night month, I moved into the good house. I give God the glory. In that spirit of that celebration, I want to say congratulations to our board and grace for your 10th year anniversary. Amen. Amen. The best thing you can do for yourself in these 10 days is not to miss any day. Like Mama said, truly the first two days has been awesome. The worship, the word, everything was like, oh my God. You wouldn't even know we don't have the complete instrument here. Uh, or instrumentalist, rather. But the, 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 the knowing thing took over our natural voices. And we got soaked in his presence. Amen. 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 But I, I'm sure the, it's on Facebook. I don't know if it is. It wasn't live. Music without oh my god. We have permission to use the music, but Facebook does not know that. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh, my God. It is well. Amen. 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 All right, let's stand on our feet. We read Psalm 7, the seas, verse 1. I began to first day talking about the principles of the kingdom. And I said one of the principles of the kingdom is the principle of praises. I talked about, I talked about why do we need to praise God the first day. We need to praise him because God has done a lot of things for us. We need to praise him because he commanded us to do so. In Psalm 150, so let everything that has breath praise him. So every time you praise him, you're telling the devil, I'm alive, I'm not dead. Even if, even if he wants you to die, tell him I can't die because I'm a praiser. And when you praise him, he raises your heart. So if you want a raise, then give him a praise. Say that to somebody, if you want a raise, then give him a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, when I'm lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. And when God draws you, he pulls you from the low estate, puts you on the high estate, pull you out of nobody, put you in somebody. Psalm 76, we're waiting for the media. He pull you out of sickness, bring you into a heart, pull you out of frustration, into fulfillment. He does that. And yesterday we looked at the benefits of praises. Where it told us the Bible says God in abyss of praises of his people. Suffering to say it, he abyss of praises. And I told us yesterday, when in abyss of praises, he sit as a judge. And when God sit as a judge in your matter, then the matter is in your favor. When he sit as a judge, then nobody can kill you. When he sit as a judge, then you can't fail. Because in him there is no failure. In him there is no faith. I was saying, in him is life, and the life is the light of men. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehends it not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when the seeds, when in habits of praises, he establishes us. He stays with us continually. That is why we are sure of, of tomorrow. Because he lives with us today, they will show our tomorrow is a guarantee. Are we having technical issue? Psalm 7 to 6, verse 1. I'm, I want it on the screen. Oh, thank you. Now let's read together. Want to go. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. Now I want you to put, I want you to put in the place of Israel, put a border and grace gospel assembly. Are you ready? Want to go. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in a bold and grace gospel assembly. Now, I want us to retake it again. The word Judah means praise. So we're going to say, in the place of Judah, put praise. In the place of Israel, put a bold and grace gospel assembly. Now, one thing go, in praises, God is known. His name is great in a bold and grace gospel assembly. If you believe that, then your amen is louder. If you believe that, then your amen is louder. Hallelujah. Take your seat. Briefly, I'll be talking about the wonders of praises. The wonders of praises. I told us that God want us to praise him. And I told us we'll praise him. These are the manifestation in manifestings. Then when it manifests, then these are the benefits that comes to us. Reciting oh, no. Isaiah 48, uh, yeah, I have not asked you to seek me in vain. Because I have not created anything to be useless. So when you praise me, there are things I want to do in your life. So praises give us an opportunity to benefit from divinity. You can take that down. Praises give us what? Opportunity to benefit from divinity. As we should praise God this morning, you're going to benefit from the King of Kings. In the name of Jesus, sweetie, if God is your benefit, then think about it. So let myself forget not all his benefits. And I began to list the benefits. They are so numerous. In 
Netflix. It's like God is not. In other words, praises up him to reveal himself to us. Praises bring up the hidden gifts of God to humanity. To humanity. Praises help God to unlock himself so that we can have access to him. It's not. And his name is great. Give me Exodus 15 11. You're going to be running fast with me because a lot of scripture we need to read in the next few minutes so that we can praise God. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Who is like thee? Glorious in all in us. Fearful in what? In presence. Do it. Yes, Lord. So it does wonders. Where we praise him. It does wonders. We will sincerely appreciate it with our praises. That's why he told us in Fritz Texalonians chapter 2 of verse 13. Say in everything, give thanks. Give thanks for the one year. Give thanks for your five years. Give thanks for the ten years. Give thanks because you will see the fifteen. Give thanks because the twenty is sure. Give thanks. Give thanks. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. In Matthew 15, 36, the Bible says, And Jesus was confronted with a confrontation of great of feet, so many people at the same time. And the Bible said there were just seven loaves of bread and few fishes. Jesus took the seven loaves of bread and the Bible said and the fishes. And what did he do? Thank you, Lord. He gave thanks. If you learn how to praise God in your confusion, then God will show up to handle the confusions. You pick up your pearl shack and you look at the expenses before your face, and the devil tell you, You go right nowhere with this pearl shack and the expenses. Sweetie, remove your tithe, then give him thanks. He knows how to handle those issues. I've come to learn how to thank him. All the best miracles I've ever had in my life were the times I was praising God. How did I get my first invitation to the U.S.? I was preaching a thousand in a church in the United Kingdom. And a man of God from Houston was passing through the church going to Africa. When he saw the way I was praising God in the winter. And I was sweating profusely. The man shouted, can somebody praise God like this? In the midst of the service, he shouted, America needs you. That was half of my way to America, praising God. Amen. You want to know more? How did I meet the pastor Freeborn? You want to know how? I met him praising God. Hallelujah. I never knew that we are we family back home to the border. That we were, we, we met in Pastor Joseph's church, and when the testimony was so awesome, I jumped out and I began to praise God. He saw me praising God. He said, jump into the place. Two of us danced like as if we've been together for years. After the praising God said, who are you? 
must have won you too. not to praise God is a lie. Anybody and everybody can praise God. That's right. That's right. It's a shame that the church people come to church and they want to be psychedelic. They want to be official and go to better parties and get not. That's right. That's right. Uh-huh. They come to church and you see them. One day I, I I went to a funeral service. You know you know the way you know the way they do funeral in Africa. One moment they are mourning, another moment they are dancing. That's right. That's right. You 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 want to wonder the person that was just crying now. Uh, oh mama, no, you don't need to have died, mama, no, mama, no. Oh mama, mama, mama. In a few minutes, that's the person is dancing. So I was in the funeral, and I saw this particular member of mine who would, would never dance in the church. And I was dazed, baboos, flapper girl stayed. And here is when I saw her dancing. I couldn't help it, and I walked to her. If you don't dance on Sunday in church. Dance in the pl- now, if you dance without God being involved, it's called a size. <laughs> but when you dance and God is involved, it's called blessing. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrow. I will sing. You praise Him. We're gonna do that. We're coming there. You shout. We are all people. Yeah, you see that dancing. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I suffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a person come to church. Lift up your hands and praise the Lord. Come on now. You better tell the truth. Oh yeah, it's all people means we are out of plan and purpose. Then do it unto the Lord. Give the dance to the Lord. So praise the Lord in the dance. Praise him in what? In the dance. It's a command. Praise him in the dance. You need principles to apply prayer. You don't need principles to apply dancing. Anyhow you do it, it falls in. To observe the principles to get results in prayers, but not the principles to get results in dancing. If I can do my leg like this, God is excited. If I can do my head like this, God is excited. If I can just wave my hands, He's excited. So praise the Lord in the dance. Because it does wonders. When we give him thanks. So we give when he gave thanks, he multiplied the bread. I make bold to say to you, Dr. Freeman, after these 10 days of thanks, God is going to multiply the grace upon your life. Multiply the membership of the church. Multiply the expansion of the church. Multiply the finances of the church. Multiply the glory of the church. If you agree with me, jump up and say yes. Yeah. 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 It gets thanks. Yeah. Several loaves of bread fed 
multiplied over 5,000 people because he gave thanks. That is it. Make it a lifestyle. Make it an habit. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name for the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name for the Lord. Yes. Praise him. When we praise him, he take over our battles. Yes, when we praise him, he shows his consign for us and his commitment. That's right. A wife that knows how to praise her husband will always know how to control the finances of her husband. Yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> There is no stingy man if you are a good praiser. That's right. Come on now. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. We're talking. My, 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 my daughter, my first daughter, once I see a message, my heart skips, my heart flies because I know something's about to leave my hands. Once she starts, uh, once she starts and greets me in her dialect, and they messing up with Daddy Bo. I know there's gonna be Wala. <laughs> she sweet talked me and held me. And the next thing, in a few minutes, you know, she's she's so she's so tactical. She will give me a few minutes and pump. Here come all the request. <laughs> then it's, it's, it's even worse when she's standing with you physically. She just won't meet me. She just starts she, she start to smile first. Then she'll just come and tickle me. <laughs> I, I, of course, I know where she's going to. I try to be serious like Pastor Freeborn. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to be serious like you sometimes, you know. She tickles me again. She, she laughs, I know you are smiling, you know. I will burst into laughter. I don't even know. And once she get me laughing, <laughs> if you look at our shirt, you see the quarrel. I said, please, this your healing should stop. Let it stop here. And I stop it now, please. I don't have any money to lose. I hope he rushed and called me to warn her. Say, but each time she held me, I, my mo money leaves my account. How can say, say tell her to stop? Say, say tell her to stop hailing me. I don't want her greeting. If I don't even greet me again, I dash her the greeting. Don't greet me again. That is man. They think about God. Yesterday I told him. I said the Paul and Silas had no business to praise God. First of all, you made them beat us up. You made them slap us. You made them flog us. They didn't flog us because we were just Paul and Silas. They flog us because we talked about Jesus in Paul and Silas. That's right. Then do you want me to praise you in my pain? I do you want me to praise you in my frustration? I do you want me to praise you when I feel like they hands. In the midst of the pain, the Bible said, Paul and Silas began to praise God, and the praising has held them. Do you know how to feel if your neighbors are making mockery of you, and the next day they hear you praising God, they will go crazy and go north. Yeah. They began to praise God in their pain. My Bible says, when God saw them praising him in their pain, God couldn't control himself. So who are these selfless blessings? In the midst of their pain, they should be praising me. In the midst of their pain, they should be paying their tithe. In the midst of their pain, they should be paying all for it. But here, the, the spies, the, the, the tithe, and the, 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 the beast of pain, the tithe and the offering. Bible says, and God relocated for the first time from heaven to into the prison and the prison could not contain God and there was a vibration because two persons were praising God I should praise God today I see God relocated to your marriage anytime it's not of God it's going to shake out of it I see God relocated to your business and it's not of God 
when you do good to some people who have maltreated you, they become afraid of you. Come on now. Because in anybody's heart, they'll be expecting revenge. And instead of, instead of Paul and Salah's revenging God by keeping quiet, they turn the revenge to reverence. Come on now. They turn the revenge to reverence. They didn't stop church because somebody spanked them, somebody hit them. They still came to church. They didn't stop paying their tithe and offering because the last time they paid, things went bad. No, they didn't stop. My God. I won't forget so many years ago. We were selling the we we're selling the church, sir. And as the moment we finished, we finished a little bit late. And the next thing my phone rang, the same my head and son fell and broke his arm. My, my, my. And I thought to God, I said, Is that your thank you? I didn't know I was looking for trouble. When I told God, is that your thank you? The next morning, my wife went to the market to do shopping for the whole month. Only for her to get to the market, the whole money was taken from her. If I, she could, if I, she couldn't come home, she had to call my father to call me. So my father called me. He said, your wife went to the market. I said, yes. I was wondering, what, what's the relationship with my wife going to the market? And my father telling me, she went to the market. I was a little bit. I said, what's going on here? He said, they just took all the money of the month from your wife. And it dawned on me that yesterday my son broke his hand. We're treating that. Now the money for the month has been taken. And, it, and, I, and something told me, he said, praise him. So I called my wife. I said, please come home. She came. I said, take a bottle of malt and drink. You need to stab that. She was wondering, is this, if this is my husband, is normal today. Yes, I'm normal. I didn't shout at all. I didn't say you're careless. I didn't say no nothing. So I went into the house and took the last money in my hands. And I went to a man of God. I just drove down to his church. I called him, said, I'm in church. I said, sir, I'm coming. I got to his church and I said, sir, yesterday my son broke his hand. Today they took our feeding money for the month. I've come to give God a rest. Because what is remaining cannot do anything. That's right. I lied not in his presence, I'm in his house. Yes. That was what I did. Mm. And I got on. As I was coming on, I said, I said, God, I want to watch my family and I feed on sun and die. Oh, I've known you too much. Mm. I thank you because I know yes. it's working for our good. Yes. I got home, it was not too long. Somebody called. I don't know how the news has fit out into some of the, my friends' ears. Somebody called said, the Lord said, you come and pay tithes to you. Not a member of our church, sir. Mm. Many years ago, she brought 200 and something thousand. Mm. Dr. Faber, you understand better. And I told my wife, I said, come and go to the market the next day. <laughs> In a more better way. Every of my friends I heard about the ECD were coming to give me money. Mm. I was almost tempted to say, go, why not, why not you break my son break another hand? Let it take more money so I can. <laughs> I didn't know it works like this, man. In their pain, when they should be sobbing, regretting, when they should be feeling bad, they told me to praise. The song that I said, I'll still have joy. I'll still have joy. After all I've been through, I still have joy. I still have joy. I still have joy. After all I've been through, I still have joy. Now listen, if the devil can't take your joy in the midst of your trouble, he can't take your strength. If he can't take your strength, then there's going to be a bounce back. Say, so rejoice not over me, my enemies. Even if I fall, even if I fall seven times, I'm going to bounce back again. Somebody, you're going to bounce back again. 
again. You are bouncing back again. You are bouncing back again. No matter where the nature to fall, the strength of the law is going to make you bounce back again. You are bouncing back in your business, back in bouncing your heart, bouncing back in your finances, bouncing back in the church. And for that grace is bouncing higher. You are bouncing better. Lift your voice, shout yes. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. I have no reason to praise him, but I will praise him. The bees before me say I shouldn't praise him. I will praise him. The issues I'm confronting say I shouldn't praise him. I will praise him. Things are not working the way I planned. I will praise him. My expectations have not been met, but I will praise him. Begin to give him praise. 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 Praise him for your life. Praise him for the times you had. Praise him for the times you felt like there was nothing. Praise him for your health. Praise him for your you can breathe. Praise him for the vital organs in your body. Praise him because you can take it also and bring it out. Praise him for the food he put on your table. Praise him for the clothes he gave you to wear. Praise him, praise him, praise him for the journey mercies. Praise him. Praise him. Yes, there might be no reason for praise him. in your life. Praise it because you are not losing the battle. You are not losing your mind. You are not losing your children. You are not losing your finances. You are not losing your career. Praise him. 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 Praise